वेलकम बैक टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ एडवांस माइक्रोसॉफ्ट 365 क्लास गाइस आई एम अंजीत रावत योर ऑनलाइन इंस्ट्रक्टर दिस इज अनदर सेशन रिलेटेड टू द माइग्रेशन एंड इन दिस क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू गाइड यू हाउ वी कैन परफॉर्म द टास्क ऑफ माइग्रेशन एज वी नो दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी रिकवर्ड द थेटिकल पार्ट मीन्स हाउ मेनी मैथड वी हैव टू माइग्रेट आवर मेल बॉक्सेस फ्रॉम वन लोकेशन टू अनदर लोकेशन we have already discussed about the different types of migrations which are available on our office 365 portal or exchange admin portal this time to implement the all types of migrations so that's why i'm going to move ourselves over our microsoft 365 portal and give you the proper step to perform the migration task as you know that each and every organization need to hire some engineers who must need to know about the concept of migration so we are preparing ourselves to manage all types of ticket related to the microsoft 365 so that's why i'm going to give you the proper practical to perform the migration activity so let's move ourselves to the screen of office 365 but before that if you are new on my youtube channel if you are watching my video first time so please do subscribe because teach me cloud is a single technical training based youtube channel that give you 100% live practical based video without skipping any step so now this is our microsoft 365 portal and you have to just open the admin center because if you want to need, if you want to open the exchange admin center you should open the admin center of microsoft 365 and uh, then click on so all it will redirect you on the page of multiple admin centers which are available in our 365 security compliance and point and uh, identity which is microsoft uh, intra admin center so the migration that you can find in the exchange admin panel so i'm going to log in i'm going to open uh, exchange admin center and with the help of exchange admin center we'll try to understand about how we can manage the exchange migration services this is the panel of exchange admin center we just need to click on the migration it will redirect you on another page where we can find the types of migration so once you open the migration wizard it give us option of add migration batch we just need to click here and it will ask you which types of migration you want to perform do you want to migrate to the exchange online it means that your mailbox is currently running in different location you are trying to capture the all, uh, uh, entire mailboxes from different location and you want to put your mic, uh, mailboxes over microsoft 365 portal so if you want to move to exchange server from another location proceed with the uh, first option and this is another option it, migration from exchange online you don't want to continue with microsoft 365 services Uh, the mailboxes that you established which are running on over our microsoft 365 now you are planning to move your entire mailboxes from microsoft 365 portal to on premises microsoft 365 portal to godaddy aws google workspace or anywhere 90% organization need to set up their migration with the help of first option migrate to the exchange let me type the name demo migration it's up to you you can choose any name so i'm going to proceed with demo migration and now it will give you more options related to the migration services remote move migration staged migration cutover migration cross tenant migration google workspace migration and imap migration so let's talk about the use cases of these different types of migration service remote move migration so if you set up your on premises exchange based on latest exchange server tool it may be your on premises exchange server running on 2010 or the latest version like 2013 2016 2019 each and every offline exchange or online exchange that you establish on latest version of tool then you will proceed with the remote move migration stage migration which are applicable which is applicable for server 2003 exchange server 2003 or 2007 if the exchange server running over uh, 2003 exchange server 2003 or 10 then you can proceed with this staged migration cutover migration as per the name suggests the old version of uh, exchange server that you establish on on premises uh old version of exchange uh, on on premises like 2003 or 2000 2000 or 
old version of exchange that you establish on on premises you should proceed with the cut over migration next one is cross tenant migration so as per the name suggests the meaning of cross tenant like this is the mail id this is our microsoft 365 portal that i log in through this particular account and now you are using another portal this is my another office 365 portal with name of uh, with different domain name right so if you want to migrate the mailboxes between office 365 one office 365 to another office 365 that time the cross tenant migration can help you right and next google workspace you know very well about the work of google workspace see the meaning of Google Workspace, the entire email services you establish over a G Suite, which is considered as a Google Workspace right now. So if the mailing services that you are running over a Google Workspace, but now you are planning to migrate all the mailboxes from Google Workspace to Microsoft 365 portal, then this particular option can help you. Let's talk about last migration point which is IMAP migration. So IMAP is a basically messaging protocol which is responsible to manage our email services like we have another option apart from the exchange online apart from the exchange offline or google workspace we can also set up our email services with the help of third party mailing service provider the third party mailing service providers are godaddy hostgator namecheap bluehost these all are the mailing services that help us to set up our email boxes right so as per your requirement you can select any of them as per your requirement you can select any of migration service and this will perform the migration task let me give you one example although i'm going to create a separate videos based on the migration that help you a proper practical right so let me click on migration and let's talk about cross tenant migration so you should know about the prerequisites next Prerequisites are what are the points that we need to keep in mind before set up our cross tenant migration. So these all are the prerequisites: source and target tenant mailbox and user object uh, have been properly configured. Means you must need to provide the uh, uh, licenses, configure the first name, last name, password, all the activity you must need to configure. A cross tenant organization relationship and cross tenant migration endpoint have been configured in both source and target tenant. Source in the sense the location where you want to shift the mailboxes to the different Microsoft 365. The mailboxes in the batch have been uh, included in the mailboxes that can be migrate scope in the source tenant. You have been permission to migrate the uh, migrate mailboxes. Permission in the sense you must need to configure, you must need to log in your 365 portal with at least uh, enterprise administrator. I'm talking about the global administrator, user account administrator, or maybe root account. In the migration wizard, we are able to find five to six different, like we already discussed about six different migration services are available. And our responsibility, we should know about the implementation process, how we can implement the practical of these migrations. So definitely in upcoming session, we'll give you the proper steps to configure migration, like we'll give you the proper step to migrate uh, with the help of remote move migration, staged migration, cutover migration. So that's it for today's session. We'll guys, uh, we'll connect soon and discuss more about the practical of migration. Please do subscribe your on Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. Take care guys. Bye-bye.